today we are exploring rlc circuit focusing on series rlc circuit so what is an rlc circuit it's a circuit that contains a resistor an inductor and a capacitor all connected in a series since it is a source free rlc circuit so there is no voltage or current source present in the circuit here is the capacitor voltage and here is the inductor current i not as there is no voltage or current source so the circuit is excited by the initial capacitor voltage that is equal to v not or initial inductor current that is equal to i not so at time t is equal to 0 the voltage at time t is equal to 0 will be equal to 1 over c integral with limits minus infinity to 0 and i into d of t that is equal to v naught so from where this equation comes from we already know that i is equal to c dv over dt so from here we have dv over dt that is equal to 1 over c into i if we take integration on both sides then this derivative will be cancelled out by this integration and if we move dt here dt and remove it from here then we will get v is equal to 1 over c is constant so we take it out of integration in i d of t so this is the same equation that is here and now the current at time t is equal to 0 is i naught now if we apply kvl to this loop with current i then starting from here from resistor the voltage across resistor will be equal to so voltage will be equal to vr plus then inductor voltage vl then plus voltage across capacitor that is equal to v naught this is equal to zero so by ohm's law we know that v is equal to ir plus inductor voltage we know that is equal to ldi over dt plus v naught is here that is one over c minus infinity to zero i into dt is equal to zero and we call this equation 1. Now to remove this integral we can take derivative with respect to time t of this equation. So it will cancel out the integral. So after taking derivative r di over dt plus l into d square i over dt plus 1 over c this integral will be cancelled out by this derivative and only i will remain this is equal to 0. So now if we multiply this equation by 1 over l then we will get r over l di over dt plus this l will be cancelled out by this l so d square i over dt we are doing this to simplify this equation equal to 0. Now this equation is called the second order differential equation and we call this equation 2 and this is second order differential equation now for initial values when time is equal to 0 equation 1 becomes r i 0 plus l d i 0 over dt plus this a term is equal to v naught so we can write v naught for simplicity is equal to 0 now after rearranging this equation the solution will be an exponential function which will in the form of i is equal to a e raised to power st so this is equation 3 okay now we have equation 2 and 3 after putting equation 3 in equation 2 we will get and simplifying it further we will get s plus r over l into s plus 1 over lc is equal to 0 so this equation is called as the characteristic equation of this second order differential equation so this is a quadratic equation and it its roots will be s1 and s2 so s1 will be minus r over 2l plus r over 2l square plus 1 over lc sorry it is minus and then take under root similarly this second root is s2 
दैट इज माइनस आर ओवर टू एल माइनस आर ओवर टू एल स्क्वेयर माइनस वन ओवर एल सी अंडर रूट सो दिस इज बेसिकली एग्जैक्टली लाइक द रूट ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नाउ सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन फर्दर वी विल गेट एस वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस एल्फा प्लस एल्फा स्क्वेयर माइनस ओमेगा नॉट स्क्वेयर इन टू अंडर रूट एंड एस टू विल भी इक्वल टू माइनस एल्फा माइनस एल्फा स्क्वेयर माइनस ओमेगा नॉट स्क्वेयर एंड अंडर रूट सो वी कैन कॉल दिस एज इक्वेशन फोर एंड दीज रूट एस वन एंड एस टू और आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसीज फ्रॉम हेयर वी न्यू एल्फा इज इक्वल टू आर ओवर टू एल एंड omega naught is equal to 1 over lc under root we will use these values in coming problem so this alpha is basically the napper frequency or we can say the damping factor and this omega naught this is called resonant frequency or undamped frequency now if we write this characteristic equation in terms of alpha and omega naught then it will be s square plus 2 alpha s plus omega naught square this is equal to 0 now these two values of s means that there are two possible solutions of i if we knew i is equal to a e raised to power st so for first s1 i1 is equal to a e raised to power s1 t and Similarly, for s two i two is equal to a e raised to power s two t. I t is equal to a one. Here it is a two s one t plus a two e raised to power s two t. So this is called natural response of series RLC circuit. Here a one and a two are determined from initial values of I zero and D I zero over D T. Now from these values of S one and S two, we can infer that there are three types of solutions where omega and alpha and omega will have three possibilities. Now what are these possibilities? So from the roots we can see that there are three types of solution. First one is when alpha is greater than omega naught. When alpha is greater than omega naught, then we have over damped case. or we can say the response is over damped and second possibility is when alpha is equal to omega naught if this is the condition then we have critically damped case third possibility is when alpha is less than omega naught then the response is under damped and from the equation we recently derived For over damped case, the natural response will be I T is equal to a one e raised to power s one T plus a two e raised to power s two T. And for critically damped case, this equation will be I T that is equal to a two plus a one T e raised to power minus alpha T. For under damped case, this equation will be I T that is equal to e raised to power minus alpha T. A one cos of omega d t plus a two sine of omega d t. Here in this equation, omega d will be equal to omega naught square minus alpha square. Now apply this concept to a practical circuit with a resistor and inductor and a capacitor. This is the same circuit with voltage V naught across capacitor. Front I. The given parameters are R is equal to ten ohms, inductance is equal to five henries, capacitance is equal to two microfarads, and we have to find is alpha, omega naught, the two roots of the equation, and natural response of the circuit. So natural response of the circuit means we have to define if it is an over damped case, under damped case, or a critically damped case. So let's move to the solution. First of all, we will find alpha. Okay, remind the value of alpha that is R over two L. So resistance is equal to ten over inductance is equal to five, 
and this will be equal to 1. We have alpha is equal to 1. Now move to omega naught that is equal to 1 over LC under root. 1 over L is equal to 5 and inductance and capacitance is equal to 2 millifarads and we can write milli as exponential 3. Solving this we will get this will be equal to 10. So omega naught is equal to 10 and the roots are S1 that is equal to minus alpha plus minus alpha square minus omega naught square. So this is a quadratic equation and we have alpha is equal to 1 plus minus 1 square minus 10 square under root and by solving this okay we have written okay we are using single equation s1 and s2 is equal to minus 1 plus minus j 9.95 as we know that this alpha is less than omega naught alpha is 1 omega naught is equal to 10 so since alpha is less than omega naught so we conclude that the response is under damped Next, we will solve a complex problem regarding this series source-free RLC circuit.